So let's say I want to make a little dovetail cut at a 45 degree angle through this. So right now I couldn't do it, right? There's, I couldn't sketch on this plane and extrude it. I couldn't bring a plane here and just extrude it out. So I'd make a new plane, like that one in the edge, until it's 45 degrees. Flip it down like that. Okay. Also, if you click on the plane or anything, you see the little, little glasses? If you click on that, it'll turn that thing off. So you got to clean on the screen you don't want to see. Just click on it, click on the glasses. Go ahead. You can also do it over here. So that kind of turns everything off. Um, so let's say I want to pick on that. Go to extrude cut. So I sketch through the part. How can I look right there? How can I cut the part and actually see right there? You guys remember? Section. Yeah, if I go up here to section, so I go to section right here. And right now it's going to pick either front, top, side. But also I can just click right here where it says right plane. And I can pick on that plane. Now it's going to section it right on that plane. And I'll just say OK. And now I'm just looking right on that plane. One thing about when you do a section view, you don't always get midpoints now. So I turn the section off. And I can probably draw from that line to the midpoint. Even though it's that same edge, just because I was in a section view, it wouldn't let me find that midpoint. So I could either turn it back on, then project the edge, then go back to the section, or just grab the midpoint while I'm here. Now you just click on that plane, turn it off. Would I want to delete that plane? What happens if I delete the plane? <coughs> Sketch goes away, the feature goes away. So you don't delete them, just turn them off. Okay. Questions?
unit axis between that point and that point. All right, two points is a line. Also, if I had if I want an, an axis where this plane and this plane meet, I could do an axis between that plane and that plane. So I have an axis down here now where those two planes would meet. So if you're trying to find something that can come in handy. Now, now you have that, that intersection point. <clears throat> and then these axes can be used to revolve patterns or revolve features. And the last one is points. So you can make a point on a, a plane and, and, a point. and a plane and an edge, so those two intersect, we get a point. You can also get a point if you just pick an edge. You can tell it how far down that edge you want it to be, either in a distance, a percentage, or a division. So if I want to divide that edge into five pieces, and get points at each of those five points, now I can use those to make other planes or or anything. So I can go in and make a plane now and pick that corner, that corner, and that point. Get a plane going through those. So where, where might that be handy in order to do that? You guys ever doing anything oblique? Where you're like cutting the corner off something? So that's, that's where, because you can find those two points here, make your plane. So you can go in, add a point there. See if you want to half an inch up from the bottom. down from the top on that side. So whichever side you pick is the side it's going to measure from. So you pick on the top edge, it's going to measure down from that corner. Pick the bottom, it's going to measure up. So I can do a plane from there to there to there. Accept it. So I just want to cut this bottom part right there off. Also, the suppress, if you just want to decide that you don't want to use that feature for now, you might use it later, so you don't want to delete it, but you just don't want to show that feature, you can suppress it. So that works also in parts where you might have one version of the part with a hole, one version of the part without a hole. You can just suppress the feature on the one without the hole. <clears throat> so now, you just want to cut this whole side right here off. Any ideas on how to do that? Yeah, I could go into the sketch plane, draw a big box, and extrude it up, right? Easier way. Not all the commands are here. These are the kind of the most commonly used ones. That's not all of them. If you go here, if you don't want to keep going between that menu and that menu, you just hit the little pin, that'll keep it. So if you go to tools, insert, Cuts. So those are kind of the same features. You get a few other features. 
patterns are the same. Fastening f features, so mounting bases, snap hooks, snap hook grooves. So if you're doing plastic stuff, they've got standard sizes for snap hooks and grooves and, and all that. Vents. Uh, if you're doing into surfacing, you got menus there. You got faces, curves. Uh, you do a grid system. And then you have special ones for sheet metal and weld vents, who we'll get to later. Um, in the next class, we'll get to those. But if I just go to cut, <clears throat> and I just say with surface, and I pick that surface, see the little arrow right here? That's asking me which way I want to cut. So if I say yes, cuts the whole part by that surface. So you'd want to do that first before you did other things maybe. Because if you had something else out here that you didn't want to cut, it would still cut it. Um, so if you did it, if you want to do this later on, then you'd have to do the sketch. But if you, you're doing it first off, do it, cut, split it, and then you can work on the other things. Questions? All right. You guys ready for a part? What is that? <laughs> Here, do this part. This corner right here for this box is at the, the corner that's left over when you do the, the split. So how would you do that? That's why I didn't show you, huh? Another plane that's like off the bottom. Yeah, but do you have to measure that? So we're just, because you don't know the distance there, you, you could measure with the measure tool, but all you do is you create your plane, first click on the bottom plane, and then second, just pick on that point, and it'll make the plane parallel to the bottom through that point. 